Hey everyone, it's Scott from Wildlife Inspired and today I'm sharing my office makeover. This is really exciting for me, so I'm glad you found the video. While I'm usually a bird photographer covering wildlife photography topics, this time it's going to be a little bit different. So if you found this video because you were searching for vlogging or YouTubing information or about an office makeover or maybe a studio setup, stay tuned because I think you're really going to enjoy this. So I had a bunch of objectives this year, and one of them was to redo my office for a couple reasons. The aesthetics for webcam videos and the, the live show that I'm doing. And then part of it was I just wanted it to feel more comfortable. I wanted a place where I liked to work. So what I'm going to do is show you the befores and the afters. I'm going to show you just some iPhone videos of what my area looked like before I started my makeover and then where it ended up afterwards. Now, there's a lot of material here, and there's going to be a lot of information shared about the products that I purchased to do this. So in the links to the video down here, you're going to see that. So everything that I did to this desk, to this office, is going to be linked in the video. Some of it was recycled and reused from other parts of the house, but a lot of it was repurchased. The highlight was cleaning off this workspace and getting it to a place that I like to work. So that's going to be the, the feature, and we'll jump in and show you what it used to look like before. Okay, so this is the start of the project. I'm going to show you some before pictures, and I'm going to show you some progress pictures and some after pictures, but this is the workspace that I'm using now, and you can see it's just a mess. So just a glass desk. It's only about, I don't know, not even four feet wide. Keyboard, I do use the audio a lot, so this will eventually go away. This will be a new setup uh, printer and then some audio junk down there, light up here. And All right, so it's, it's not good. The goal is to clean this up. Super, super, super clean. So wooden, flat wooden desk, uh, pole mount up here with some attachments on it for lights, camera, all that. Clean everything up and then mount all this, hard mount this to the desk. Back here, this will just be super clean. So this will stay, the table back there will stay. And then I'll redo the closet in here with shelving. So only one shelf in this whole closet right now. Uh, and I'll shelve this out for storage. So this would be, you know, all of the junk that's in here gets organized and put into that closet. So that is the, uh, that is the long-term goal. I'll take some pictures here and then I'll share those pictures as I go through and, and make progress on this. But I thought it'd be neat to kind of journal this show you the before and after, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, could you, you could see I had a lot of work to do. Um, the goal, obviously, like I mentioned, was to get the workspace clean. And to do that, I started with a workbench. And here's what it starts to look like as I'm building it. So let me show you the, a couple clips of what it looks like now. All right, so I've got the um, new desk ready to ready to be assembled. So again, this was the old desk, not pretty. There's nothing pretty about anything happening here. I got stuff just everywhere, got sick of it. So here's what I'm doing now. I'll take you down here. This is a butcher block style. Uh, I'll link you to the one that I chose and I'll tell you the reason I chose this one specifically, but I went with butcher block for a couple reasons. I wanted something that's a little more industrial and I wanted to be able to drill right into it. So if I wanna put cable holders on here, and mount things to this. Um, I'll show you some of the rack, the racks that I bought to that'll mount directly into this. And I think it's gonna work. Like I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. So I'm excited about it. I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about this particular one because to be honest, it's a lot cheaper. It's a, almost a hack to do it this way. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you could see um, super solid. Package weight was over 100 pounds, so I feel really good about how it feels so far. I'll flip it over in a minute, but again, the wood surface is gonna give me a lot of flexibility here. I can drill into it, add, modify, change, do whatever I want. So you can see a very rugged piece. That was the foundation of what I wanted to do here. I wanted something that I could span, expand upon. And to be honest, I still see potential. Like I still see little things. Could I add a shelf here? Or could I add some more storage in another area? 
So I'm really excited about where I'm at at this point. And now I'm going to show you a couple more progress pictures. So take a look at where I'm at as the build is coming together and as I'm adding the accessories to it. Okay, so literally just flip this upside down and now took some of the old desk, put it on top. Far from finished, but you know, this is what it starts to look like. All right, and here's the mount that I picked. It's by a company called Canto. The interesting thing about this mount, it gets great reviews, which is what I was drawn to. I wanted something that was super sturdy. It's very, very well built. Interestingly enough, I looked for days and days on these monitor mounts and I checked all sorts of places and this one does not, it is on Amazon, but it doesn't come up uh, right away. So whatever algorithm they're using doesn't come up, but you can see it gives me the versatility to swing these out. Now, I, to save space, I mounted this one vertically, but obviously you don't have to. So that's a vertical mount. And then you can see this one slides out of the way. And then the little bit of a hack here is this arm is com comes from another company and I'll link it down there, but it fits their pole. And if you do these, if you add these arms on to a pole mount like this, you've just gotta be careful that it is the same diameter. So this one I made sure was the same diameter. Yeah, this arm is built to hold another monitor, but what I did is adapted it. And I drilled the hole here a little bit bigger and I added this very specific tripod extension. Now, this is different. Uh, you may see videos where they've hacked these type of things like this, but this is this one is completely different. I'd never seen this before. I'm gonna show you the advantage of this. I'm gonna set this uh, camera up back here and I'll show you the wide angle why I do this. So right now you can see it's in like a web mount position. It's on a ball head and it's got an arm there. With this specific arm, um, what you can do is adjust it up so there's tension in two ways. So there's a clamp here, so I'm going to pull this all the way up like this, lock it. And then if you've seen these tripod, tripod clamps before, a lot of times macro photographers use this kind of setup. It also leans forward, right? So what I'm going to do is swing this arm all the way out from the camera. There and it's on a ball head so I can rotate it to any position I want. And I can also flatten it out and extend it. So now I'm all the way out. And then again, it's on a ball head. So I come up here. Now, why would I do this? Well, sometimes I record at the desk behind us. So if I was recording at that desk in the past, I'd have to take my camera set up, bring a tripod in, set up the tripod over there, and then record, and I'd be recording to the camera. Then I'd have to take from the camera, take the video card out, set my microphones up into the camera. It was just a lot of work, and it, I hated doing it. This allows me to tether it to the computer. So I would actually be able to watch this monitor here as I'm recording myself. I'm using the computer monitor, recording to the computer, and my microphone, which is here, has a 10-foot cable which actually just runs all the way back to the table that I want to sit at, which is about five feet back there. So from here, uh, I've got a 17 to 35 millimeter lens. When I go up to the 35 millimeter setting, I'm good to sit where I need to sit. And if I'm on a 17 millimeter or 20 millimeter, that's what I use for the video back here. So super versatile, uh, really love this setup. All right, so you're thinking, why are we talking about a mouse pad? And the reason is this, I didn't realize how big a difference this made when you have a big mouse pad. So watch the distance I could travel on this. And when you have two monitors, it's super, super helpful. So, you know, my old mouse pad, I just kept running over the edges. So one, it's just a matter of size, but here's the other thing. This tablet, I want it near my mouse because I, I go back and forth. And there's a lot of advantages to using a tablet. I'm not going to get into those. So if you're using a tablet, I just want to show you this little trick. If you, if you were to get a mouse pad like this, or I'll link this one in the video, but if you bought this mouse pad, which I love, um, you take your tablet and I'll, I'll even link these little stoppers here, but you can get any if you have them. I use these for framing to keep frames off the walls, but they're also super sticky. So what they do is I can put this at the edge of the mouse pad and it locks it in. And now it keeps it the same height as the mouse pad. So now this is flat and it doesn't move. 
because those little rubber feet lock it in. So this little hack makes me happy. I really, uh, I really liked this one. So here's a look at the, uh, the surface area of this giant mouse pad and how it works with the tablet. All right, let's talk about this light. Um, doesn't look like anything real special until you realize why I chose a specific desk lamp. Now it's a desk lamp, right? So it's, it's here, but my main light comes from over here. So when I'm making videos, I need a fill light. And that's what this is. It swivels, I can raise it, and I can angle it so that it hits my face at the right angle. It's also got different levels of intensity. So there you can see it getting brighter and darker. And I don't know if you'll be able to pick up on this. It's changing the warmth. There you see it, right? So I can try to match whatever I want. So if I'm using it as a desk lamp, I have a lot of options. It's also really nice because it floats right under that monitor. And when I'm sitting here, you can see it just kind of sticks out to the side. And again, I can swivel it any way I want and adjust it any way I want. So really neat lamp, love that. Um, really, really love that little lamp. All right, let's go through the back of the computer where everything is run. Um, this we're not gonna really talk about. This is a digital audio interface. If you use, real quickly, if you use an analog mic, these are like professional mics and they have these XLR cables, um, you need something to transform it into a digital signal. And that's what this guy does. It just takes analog, makes it digital. It's also got a preamp built in, a good preamp. So it will magnify the sound coming out of here. But back behind here is just a power strip. So no big deal, um, but it's mounted here with rack mounts. So this is what you would see mounting computers normally. Computer hardware, you see those giant racks that's what this is and it mounts into this butcher block so again the advantage of this butcher block is it's flexible so these this is a little dust guard to keep the cables kind of clean and neat and then just a power strip that this one is powered all the time and i'm going to switch over and show you the front power strip so i have two power strips so you need a power strip anyway for a computer with a surge protector um, i just got mine instead of having it where most people have it laying on the floor cluttered and messy now it's clean and neat and up here and let me show you the front all right this front one I'm, I'm really really proud of it i researched things like crazy it took me god like a day to find one that i was like that's it that's what i want so let me go over two things this top thing is a preamplifier. don't worry about it you don't need it unless you're doing recordings but it's it's a really good preamplifier. Um, and it's not, it's not going to break the bank, but it's a couple hundred dollars that you don't need to spend. But let's, this is the one I wanted to focus on. Why is this so cool? Well, one, it's a power switch. So I've got everything that I want to run into the system that is not going to be powered all day. So the computers go to the back because they run all day, but my lights, so I've got a light up here. I've got a light over there. The monitors you can see right there, they're powered. So they've actually plug in. And this guy plugs in and my camera, my webcam plugs in. So at the end of the night, I forget to shut stuff down. So I wanted something that I could power separately. So what I can do is that's my webcam. So I turn my webcam on and then I can power. These are the speakers so I could power them on and off. So at the end of the night, I just power it all off at the same time. And that light's going to pop out in a minute. There we go. I'll cut that one back on so we can see. Um, so really, really helpful. The other thing about this is the power strips here and here all come in through the back, but this one has built-in USB, which very, very few had, and it also has a constant power here. So if I want to plug in quickly, if I got a vacuum in here or something like that, I could just plug it right in here and go. If I want to add a studio light back here to make a video, I plug right in there and I'm good. So I really liked this power bank. Um, it wasn't like crazy expensive. I'll link it down there as well. But um, that one I really, really liked here. So this is my new closet space. It was about a little over four feet wide, a little over six feet tall. And I just had one shelf in here before. And then uh, I wanted to organize it. So I went to Ikea. There's no affiliate link here. I just really liked it. So I'm going to share it with you. Uh, this is a pine unfinished pine storage system. I'll list it in the description as well. 
and uh, all of these are accessories. Again, because it's from Ikea, it was actually very easy to build and uh, very inexpensive relative to, I think, what it could have been. So about 150 bucks for that shelf system. And again, totally customizable. I can add, I'm actually going to add some more shelves to it as well. So really liked this one. I'll put it down in the, uh, in the links if you're interested in something like that. And to be sure, this wasn't just around the functionality of where I'm working. There was also this aesthetic component. Now, let me go back about a year. I'm going to show you, well, two things you're going to notice. One is my hair is a lot shorter. I haven't had a haircut since last year. And uh, I've got a picture of myself up here and uh, it's short. So I'm going to show you over here. I'm going to show you what the set looked like a year ago. Very bland. But if you're looking now, really just a couple of my pictures on the back wall, no real interest. I was lighting this and you can actually see if you look over there, you're going to see a lamp reflected in one of the pictures. The pictures aren't even even. This was literally just a basement office that I worked out of and started to do these YouTube videos. It wasn't, it didn't have any attention to detail. Now let me show you a picture, which you're looking at now, by the way, on this live feed, but let me show you a still shot of the image now and you can see the differences side by side. Notice the lighting is much, much better now. The recording quality is much, much better now. The background has some accent pieces. There's nice lighting in the background. And I'm not a professional decorator, but I do think you can tell just an immediate difference. So I did spruce up the background a little bit, but it was really just around adding a couple of cheap lights. Uh, the lights that are back here, you'll see one here and one over here that match. Not expensive at all, around $20. So I'm going to link them in the video for you. Um, I added a table here, which is much closer than the table I used to have in the background. And this really works now to stage some stuff. So with a shorter, uh, a shorter lens that I'm using, and this lens, I think I've got it to about 30 millimeters, and it's stationed a little further apart just to get the angles that I wanted, um, I can stage some things on this table that add a nice background to me. Um, and then behind that, I have another table, which I actually work off of. So I have a staging table, which I can put stuff on and then a table that when I'm framing or printing or doing any kind of work like that, I can actually work off of. You can see that in the old video, in the old image. So over here, you'll see that old, uh, table sitting there in the background. All right. So that is the before and the after still shots of my office. And, uh, like I said, I just think it adds a nice touch and it's a, it's a huge improvement in the background. So now, in addition to have a, having a workspace that I really enjoy using, um, I have a background that looks much prettier for the videos that I'm making. So let me show you a couple stills. At the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you, I'm gonna try to show you the complete desk layout in one frame. And in that, I'm gonna try to, as I'm showing you these images, I'm gonna try to tag them with price points. So you get to see, hey, if this is something I wanted to add to my office, what would it cost? Now, in the description below, you're also going to notice that I have things that I asterisk. And those th are, are things that I just really believe in. For whatever reason, I, I thought the value was great. I'm very budget conscious. So some of these things were an investment of money. But honestly, like the desk for $200, $250, you, you just can't beat the build quality of the desk that I got. Um, the headphones, I really, really love the headphones. So there's just a lot happening here that I really enjoyed and uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. So take a look at the description, scroll through there, click some of the links, look at some of the products. If there's anything you liked in there, everything here, I would recommend. Honestly, there's nothing, if I, if I didn't recommend it, I sent it back. There wasn't a whole lot that I sent back, but I'm really happy with the overall product. So take a look at some of the images and uh, I'll catch you up in just a little bit.
All right, and there's my finished product. There's my makeover, my new office, my new studio. I will tell you, I'm really happy about the way it came out. And I'm also just excited because I like to be in here again. It feels good. So I'll also tell you that I, I really did like everything that I showed in the video. Products that I didn't like, I sent back or I didn't list in the video. But if you are interested in any of them, use the links down here. While none of the product was given to me, they are all here as affiliate links. So you can help out the channel. If there's something you see that you like, purchase it through the links below and that'll help the channel out a lot. For those of you who were just visiting and kind of looking at the office makeover, thanks for tuning in today. And for my wildlife and bird photography friends, thanks for watching the whole makeover. And for you and I, we can continue to find inspiration in wildlife together.